Hi, everyone. Welcome to day three of the Kitchko Tribe Challenge. I'm Kit Rich. This is my husband, Manuel, and he's sore. So I hope you're feeling the same. Today is a body weight, full body routine. It's meant to just be fun, get your heart rate up, and be a great challenge. Remember that for these videos, we're not warming you up. There is a video linked below, a quick warm up. So you want to make sure that you do that before you do this video. Also, there is a cool down and a stretch option as well for afterwards. Are you ready to begin? Let's do it. All right, the first move, we're going to come into a plank position. You want to make sure that your shoulders are right over your wrists, that your feet are a little bit wider than your hips, abs pulled in tight. Now you're going to do this for a count of four. Reach one hand to the opposite tap and tap alternating. And after you do four, then you do four plank jacks. Jump in and out. Go for it. And then just keep repeating. Tap, tap. Now keep going for me. For those of you that need a modification, being down on your knees is, an, is a great option. And when you do the plank jacks, you just step one leg out at a time. Keep your chest pulling forward. Keep your butt in line with your shoulders. You have about 10 seconds here. and come to stand. Nice job. All right, the next move, you're gonna come to one side of your mat or one side of your room and you're in a low squat. You're gonna side shuffle to one side. Once you get there, you're gonna go for four each leg forward and back. Go for it, low, and then go four, three, two, one. Getting low and continue. Now, if you don't want to jump, I'm going to show you the modified. You just go heel tap, heel tap, heel tap, heel tap, and then just shuffle. <sighs> 10 seconds. Yeah, babe. Last one. And come to stand. All right, the next one is a standing core exercise. You step one leg back, it doesn't matter which one. Arms are up. You're gonna give me four knee drives. And then you come to stand and lift the knee four times with the same leg. Ready? Let's go. Stick with the same leg for right now. And feel like you can go at your own pace. You don't have to be in sync with me. You can go faster. You can go slower. Yeah, you don't have to go so fast, you know. There you go. <laughs> He's in the mood. <sighs> Pull. going. Now, no matter what in this move, you want to make sure that your chest is staying up, that you're not rounding through the upper body as you're driving that knee in. And then you're standing tall and really, really letting the knee lift up. Last 10. And rest. Let's go for the other leg. You ready? And go. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Twenty seconds. Stay strong. Keep that chest up. Let's complete one more here. And relax. Well done. All right, the last one for this group is fast feet. You ready? 
and go. You just move your feet as fast as you can. <sighs> like I always say, if you don't feel a jiggle, you're not moving fast enough. Oh, my mat is moving. Keep going. <sighs> You think the camera's shaking? Yeah? Let it rumble. 15 seconds. In five, four, three, two, and relax. All right, take a quick break. Prepare yourself, because we're gonna do those four moves one more time. That's it, okay? You ready? Just to remind you, the first move is a plank. Tap, tap, tap to four plank jacks. Let's come on down. Five seconds, shoulders right over your wrists. And let's begin, go. Now the tendency in this move is to start to scoot back. You wanna make sure that you're keeping your shoulders forward, right over those wrists. Keeping your knees soft as you go for the jumps. Good. You're almost there. Last five seconds. So finish this one up. And come to stand. Nice job. And now starting in the low squat and the forward back with the legs. Ready? Let's go. <laughs> he just said, I'm beginning to forget that I'm sore. Good, 15 seconds. Let's finish this. Almost there. Last one here. And relax. We're now gonna do back knee drive for four and then lift for four. Choosing one leg to start with, doesn't matter which one. Ready and go. Keep that chest up for me. Last 10. Finish it here and relax. Let's move to the other leg. Get low, arms forward and begin. Make sure you're breathing. Exhale every time that knee drives in. Abs in tight. Fifteen. This is your last five. And relax. Woo! Ready? What? <laughs> Let's go for fast feet in three, two, one, and go. Shake it. Shake what your mama gave you. Abs in. Let the house shake. Let your neighbors say, what's up? What's going on up there? You're saying I'm gonna stay healthy so I can be a good neighbor, right? 
Last ten. In five, four, three, two, and relax. All right, grab some water if you need it. We're gonna fix our mats because these are going crazy. All right, next up. Whew, you feeling that? Okay, next up we have jump rope. You want your arms nice and taut and bent. You don't wanna just flicker from your wrist. You wanna move from the whole forearm there. That way your arms are getting work. Ready in three, two, and let's go. Now, you have so many options with jump rope. You can jump with both feet. You can choose to play with it single leg. You can, you can do doubles, exactly. You can do high knees if you're in the mood. And if you don't wanna hop, you just move your body. Don't be rigid with it though. Just play. Woo. Bum, 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 bum. Last 10. Five. And relax. You're gonna come down to the floor in a downward dog. Taking one leg up to the sky, it doesn't matter which one. And as you come forward, you're gonna pull the knee in towards the chin and then shoot it back. Ready? Let's go. Now, if you need to stay on your knees here, it would look simply like this. The leg goes back, you tuck the knee in. Back, tuck the knee in. So that's the modified version for you. What's so important about this one is what's happening when the knee is pulling into the chin. You wanna make sure that your hips drop, your abs are pulled in tight. Almost there, and then we're gonna switch legs. One more. And let's switch legs. Taking the other leg up to the sky, and go. We have about 10 seconds. Give me one more. And come to stand. For this next move, it doesn't matter which leg is forward, you're gonna step one leg back. Now if your right leg is forward, it's your opposite arm that's down to the floor. From there, you push into the heel, you bring that back leg up, opposite arm reaches up, and then you reach down. Ready? How you doing, babe? Good. All right, let's go. Now, of course, if reaching down to the floor does not feel good for you, you can simply just reach to the knee and make that movement smaller, all right? So it doesn't have to be this full range of motion. Ten. One more, and let's switch legs. I'm gonna turn the other direction, and reach the opposite arm to the floor, chest pulls forward, and go. lost my balance there. <laughs> 10. Drive through that heel. Give me one more and relax. The next one is called hover push-ups. Now I invite you to do this on your knees if you need because it's much harder than it looks. So you come down onto your knees. Now if you need padding, please fold up your mat. You take your arms as wide as the mat. 
you come forward into a modified push-up. From here, you get as low as you can. You go to one side, go to the other, center, and push it up. Alternating which direction you start in each time. Come on down to the floor. Feel free to do this off your knees if you know that you're super strong in that upper body. And here we go. Present your chest forward on the way down. Ooh. <laughs> side to side. Now, if you're doing this off your knees, you want to make sure that your legs are really strong so that you're really squeezing your quads as though they're trying to pull off the knees and up. You also want to make sure that your shoulder blades are just plugging down your back so that you're really using the lats to help keep you strong. You're almost there. 10 seconds. Last one. And come to stand. All right, now you know the moves and you know you just have to do it again. No big deal, right? Oh, no, that's it. All right, jump rope. In four, three, two, and let's go. Yay! Hi! Keep those elbows tight into your body. Remember, you can play with it. Don't be rigid. Maybe this is your opportunity to dance a little bit. Uh. You want to show people your skills? No. Nobody wants to dance. He's more works from his shoulders. He's a shoulder dancer. My hips work like his shoulders. Good. 10 seconds. In four, three, two, and good. Downward dog, core work, ready? Come on down. One leg up to the sky, and drive it in, exhale. Checking the time. Almost. <laughs> he said, do we switch sides yet? <laughs> One more and let's go. Switch and go for it. <sighs> Remember you guys, I'm not seeking perfection. I just want you to try and have some fun. Don't take it so seriously. Five seconds. Last one. And come to stand. Yay! Okay, one leg is forward. One leg is behind. Opposite arm is reaching down. You ready? And go. Drive it up. Keep going. Something's up with my timer. I just want to check it. There we go. You're doing great. Oh my goodness. Keep that chest up. How you feeling? You feeling strong? Yeah. Last one. And switch. I'm gonna switch to the other side. Do you wanna fix your mat or are you okay? All right, here we go. Back leg, opposite arm reach, and go. Other arm. Yeah, so you always want the opposite arm so you have that counterbalance. If you drive through the heel, lift the knee up. <laughs> Last 10. Then we got our hover push-ups. What do you say, what do you say? and relax. 
Okay, come on down. Let's do it this way this time. Maybe give you some more space. All right, here's the deal. You're either on your knees or off your knees, right? You decide. Maybe this round you're going, I'm gonna try it off my knees. Take your arms wide, present your chest forward, and go. Hover, push up. Inhale down, hold the breath. Exhale, push up. And again, if you try, choose to do this on your knees, you just wanna make sure that you're not crossing your feet. That causes inconsistencies in the pelvis and the spine. So just keep your feet lifted, core pulled in tight. How low can you go? That's okay, you can go down to your knees. You guys, this is not meant to be something that makes you feel bad about yourself. If you find that you have the strength doing it on your knees, then that's where you do it. No shame. No shame in the kitsch go game. Last five. Give me one more. And relax. Okay. Last round of four moves, two times. If you need some water, now's the time to grab it. Okay, so this first one, I'm gonna fix his mat, is ball slam. You guys know this one. You've just done this with me in another video. You're imagining as though you're holding on to a ball. You're light on your feet, your knees are bent. You lift that imaginary ball up and you slam it. Real quick though, you're not using your back, you're using your legs and your arms and your core is braced tight. All right, let's begin. And go, slam. Now, for those of you that want more, Manuel, no pressure, seriously. <sighs> He's sore. You can jump. So you can lift up, boom. Up, boom, right? Slam. Get rid of that negative energy, boom. Let it go. Get the wiggles out. If you have a kid, you know what I mean by that. <laughs> Get those wiggles out. Five seconds. Last one. Rest. Whew. All right, this one, surfer squat. You might recognize in this in one of my Pop Sugar videos. Come down into a squat here. You're staying in the squat. Your chest is up, your arms are forward like you're surfing. You're gonna go to one side, lean back into the heel, and then switch. All right, ready? Cool. Legs are a little too wide, coming a little closer and go. Side to side, chest up, shoulders plugged down the back. Your toes should be loose. <sighs> Sit back there. Yeah, in the heels. Yeah, you're going side to side. <sighs> Let's go surfing. Manuel and I love to get in the ocean. You got it. Last 10. In five, four, three, two, and stand. Yay, come on down to the floor coming to sit on your butt. So this one is a tricep dip. Your fingertips are pointed forward or out to the side. It's very important that it feels the most comfortable on your wrists. From here, you wanna roll your shoulders back, lift your chest up, and then float your hips up. You wanna lean back into the arms as you bend the elbows, pointing them straight back, and then push up. <sighs> that actually looks really good. Now, so you'll hear some trainers say, your hips need to be up really high. I think, honestly, the more you just lean back into the arms, the more that intensifies the move. And you can really then emphasize the opening of the chest, the squeezing of the shoulder blades so that your elbows can point back. Yeah, exactly. So Manuel just said he feels a stretch. That's absolutely correct. Are your legs shaking? My, me too. <laughs> Keep going. Five seconds. Last one and relax. 
Now this one is a combination of something we would do in Pilates. We're going to do a single leg bridge to a single leg teaser. Come to lie down onto your back. So from here, it doesn't matter which leg is down and which leg is up, just choose one. From here you go into one bridge, pushing into the heel and down. And then you're going to roll up to reach for the toes. And then roll back down and repeat. Ready? Let's go. Up, down, roll up, and down. Up, down, roll up. Now, what you're trying to do when you're rolling up is try not to let the shoulders go up to the ears. Really keep them pulling down your back. You got it. 10 seconds and then we'll switch right to the other side. So you'll notice here with Manuel, he's only coming up to the tips of his shoulder blades. Scoot down a little bit, you're gonna hit the bench. And last one, and relax. That is a great option if you're finding that you can't get all the way up. Just know that whatever you can get up to, you're still working the abdominals. Let's switch legs. Ready and go. Up and roll yourself up. Now also too, just so you know, part of the reason, and you'll notice this, that Manuel's not getting all the way up is because his leg is really high. So that actually restricts what he can do. If he drops his leg a little lower, he'll be able, oh, maybe, ah, maybe to come up a little higher. There we go. He's like, oh man, I was just put on blast. <laughs> Good. Remember, we just have to do these moves one more time, and we are done. 30 minutes in the books. Last one. And come on up. Ball slams. Okay, simple, easy. Easy, yeah, fun. Okay, ready? In three, two, one, go. Now you don't have to jump. You can simply just come up onto those tippy toes and slam. Ten seconds. Then we go into those surfer squats. Ready? Stand. High five. I love you. Come on down. Hey, side to side. Just picture that blue ocean. Yeah. Stay back in those heels, toes are loose, chest is up. I actually just pictured myself outside just now. I was picturing that we were in Hawaii. Yeah. Something to look forward to. Five seconds here. And come to stand. All right, come down. We're going to do the tricep dips. Then we'll get down there. I'm just going to stop the timer here. Come on down. All right, so again, Comfort level, right? Lift your hips up, lean back into those arms, tricep dips. Thanks for doing this with me. You're welcome. I like working out with you. Yeah. Squeeze the shoulder blades, chest is up. Can you make the rest of these like five minutes? Manuel's just asking if we can make the rest of the workouts five minutes long. <laughs> With me. <laughs> We're almost there. You've come this far. Why would you stop now? That's what I said to him when we first started dating. You've come this far with me. Why stop now? Last eight. Give me two more. Last one. And come on down. All right. Bridge to teaser and we're done. And then you stretch. Ready? 
and lifting the hips, reaching up. You want to make sure that you're really pressing through that heel. Good. See if you can try to come up a little bit higher. Yeah. That's awesome. Just a few more and then we'll switch legs. Last one. And let's switch legs. Ready? And go. Let's finish this strong. You're doing great. Careful with your head. You're really close to the... I'd like you to survive after this. I kind of need you around. You can do it. You can do it. Go, go, go. You got it. Two more. Here we go. Last one. And you did it. You're done. Done. Day three in the books. Wonderful work. We'll see you tomorrow for day four. Whoop, whoop. Good job. <laughs>